Come out with your hands up, Ben. Hey, officer, I'm Santiago. I'm the, the neighborhood welcome wagon. Santiago, get back in your house. Hey. All right, so what happened to Dig Dug? So he was married at the time, lived in North Tampa. Yep. And he lived in a neighborhood where everybody was friendly, and they talked to each other. Doug's a friendly guy. So one of their neighbors, uh, his name is Santiago, we'll call him. So he, Doug was friends with him. Hey, Santi. <laughs> How do you, you're coming up with a fake name, and you we'll come up with him. Santiago we'll is the name? We'll call him Juan Manuel. Juan Manuel, that's what we'll call him. Yes. We'll call him <laughs> Ricardo Maltolban. Mm, yes, yes. We'll yes. call him Hervé Viriches. I just came up with that name off the top of my head. We'll call him Santiago. The plane, the plane. I don't know. We'll call him... Baby, listen to la ring, la ring, la ring, la ring. Montoya. Okay, so Santiago's very friendly. He's like the welcome wagon. A new neighbor moves into the neighborhood. His right. name is Ben, we'll call him. All right. So- <laughs> Your name I choice is so fake. No. fake names. I, ben is fine. Ben moons into the neighborhood. What happens? So Santiago goes and sees him. He's like, hey, buddy, welcome to the neighborhood. You know, listen, if you ever need anything, I live right over here. You need my cell phone. You ever need anything at all? Come on over. Let me know. And this new guy, Ben, looks at him. Cold hearted guy. Whew. He goes, listen, Santiago. I, he probably didn't even know his name. I'm not going to need anything from you because you're never going to need anything from me. Right. What a, so he what just a, what a what a friendly uh, what? neighborhood welcome <laughs> wagon response that was. Dude, that sounds like the best neighbor ever. I want a neighbor who doesn't want anything <laughs> from me, you, and I don't want crap from you. <laughs> You're gonna you, want this neighbor. You stay out of my way. Seriously, I'll stay out of your way, and we're gonna just peacefully coexist. It's funny. Yesterday, my neighbor that is, I have to dodge her now. Until obviously the weekend. So yesterday I get out of my truck and I saw her walking down the street and I sort of I was like, what am I gonna do? And so I, I get on my phone and I'm like, Yeah, 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 we'll do that. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. And I just ran inside, totally fake phone called, got away for another day. Yes. <laughs> but you've just told the story on the air. Damn it, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she doesn't listen. No. So, so the story is Ben's a great neighbor. So the story is that Uh-oh. Ben quickly earns the reputation as the absolute cold-hearted jerk in the neighborhood. What? Yeah. Right? New neighbor, you know, stay away from me. Yep. I'm not going to need anything from you. You're not going to need anything from me. Have a nice life. Bye bye. Dude, that's who I am in my neighborhood. <laughs> Well, are you? Well, none well, of my neighbors. You're gonna learn a little bit more about Ben. Then the story goes okay. on. Yeah. Then, then the story goes on. So far, I love Ben. Wait to hear. Wait to hear what happens next. Okay. What does Ben do? So Ben has a steady girlfriend who comes over all the time. She drives a Hummer. All right. She's like this big blonde voluptuous chick. She's always pulling in in her Hummer. So people know Ben and the girlfriend, but they don't talk to him. They just talk about them. So one night, this goes. You know, he lives there for X amount of months, and this. One night, the cops come to Ben's house, and I'm talking seven police cars at Ben's house. Yep. Two more. That was only five. There you go. There we go. Oh, my God. That's ten. That's not that many. So this is a domestic violence issue. Whoa. All right? Got Ben's a, got some secrets. Got a DV problem at mm-hmm. Ben's house, all right? Cops yep. show up in droves. So needless to say, all the neighbors go outside. They're camped out on their lawns. It's like a lawn party. They're watching what's happening at Ben's develop. And Ben, the- <laughs> this is the police. Ben, come out with your hands up, Ben. Hey, officer, I'm Santiago. I'm the, the neighborhood welcome wagon. Santiago, get back in your house. Hey, can I get you guys some juice boxes? Maybe Santiago, some- <laughs> get back in your house. No, Santiago, listen. come inside. Let the police officers work. <laughs> Uh, Maria Conchita Estrella, please. I'll be in a minute. Keep keep going. (laughs) So Ben is not the perp. Oh, no, no, no. It's the blonde girlfriend. She's the one who's been beating Ben up. What a swerve. Right? So Ben is getting beaten up by the, yes. the voluptuous blonde and the Hummer. She's, he's obviously called the cops on her because okay. she's outside. She's belligerent. She's drunk. She's screaming. And the whole neighborhood is watching. Right. So here's the best part. Uh-oh. I think she was also so drunk that she was like throwing up at the same time. That's not the best part. (laughs) But that's just some added details. So anyways, she's getting, she's talking to the police. She's screaming at everybody. Somehow she wrangles away from the cops. So then she's running through the yard. What do they have to do? What what happens then? Does she go to Santiago's house? Grab her, Santiago. Get her. <laughs> Ma'am, please. The police are looking for you. As Santiago, go back in your house. Santiago, oh. come back in. I'm not going to ask 
ask you again, <laughs> Santiago, please leave the scene. Officer, I'd like to make a citizen's arrest and help you. I'm sorry, Officer Santiago's out of control. <laughs> Honey, please. Talk to the officers with some respect. Faster, faster, we do not want burritos now. Take the burritos back into the house. We, bring, bring dinner back who's, inside. Who's faster? Who's faster? Uh, all right. So, yeah, who's faster? Yeah. All right, so Santiago. Here, here's the payoff. So, so she's running, running, running through the neighborhood, and they they tackle her, they hog tie her, and she screams. The whole the whole neighborhood's watching this. The whole, but you know the popcorn meme? Yeah, so, that's the whole neighborhood. Eating popcorn, loving every minute of the it. The cops tackle her. They have to, she's screaming, and they have to hog tie her. Yes. And they ultimately, didn't they put her in the back of the police car hog tied? They're, they're heading her that way. But she yells. She yells, you didn't, oh, this is the salacious part, by the way. You didn't mind when I was bleeping your friend so you could watch. Santiago? <laughs> Honey? I, I don't know Ben at all. Is she talking about you? Oh, oh, no, no, honey. You know, she's not talking about this. Wow. Not go, we need to have a conversation. <laughs> oh no. Honey, please. So this is Roxanne's neighbor's story to top Froggy's neighbor's story of Froggy's neighbor having the nerve to ask Froggy for his Netflix login and password for the daughter's Halloween party. Wait. What a neighbor's story topic. Hold on. <laughs> Doug was married at the time. He was. <gasps> Doug Santiago. Was Doug, was Doug the friend? Is, is Doug Santiago? Was Doug the friend? <laughs> no, but let me tell you, Doug tells this story all the time, and I never wow. get tired of it. Wow. But now that we've just reenacted it, I kind of like our version better.